First question, the diagrams show a test tube containing pond water. The green color is caused by microorganisms that have chloroplasts, which characteristics of living organisms are shown. So it is stated over here that the green color is caused by microorganisms, meaning that this whole water over here have microorganisms. But for this only this area of microorganisms. This is showing movement and sensitivity. Seems like there's a change in the sensitivity. Since there's a change in movement and you also can detect stimuli which is the light. Detect and react. So the answer will be nutrition and also nutrition. Because what is happening happening over here is photosynthesis. Photosynthesis will produce oxygen. Photosynthesis, you have to take in... For photosynthesis to occur, they have to take in materials like light, like carbon dioxide and water. So the answer for question 1 would be B. Next question, which shows an organism that has been named using the binomial system. So the scientific name would be made of two parts, which is the genus followed by the species. So the answer would be D, the scientific name. Next question, the diagram shows an arthropod. To which group does it belong? This arthropod has one, two, three, four pairs of legs. So it'll be arachnids. They have four pairs. Crustaceans have five pairs. Insects have three pairs. My report depends on like how many segments it has. So the answer for question three would be A. Next question, which features do animal cells share with plant cells? Plant cells, unlike animal cells, they have new, um, I mean, they have cell wall, they have chloroplasts, and they also have large permanent vacuole. So, animal cell, they don't have chloroplast, cytoplasm, both of it have cytoplasm and nucleus, so the answer would be C. Animal cell and plant cell do have cytoplasm and nucleus. Next question, the diagram shows a drawing of a human cheek cell. The distance between points X and Y on the diagram is 30 mm. The actual length of the cell between X and Y was 60 micrometer. What is the magnification of the cell? The formula is magnification equals to image length over actual length. The image length is 30 mm, which is 0.03 meter. Then 60 micrometer is equivalent to 60 times 10 to the power of negative 6. So the answer would be 500. 1 micrometer equals to. Next question. Red blood cells were placed in poor water. Movement of water across the cell membrane caused a change in their appearance. What caused this change in appearance? So this is osmosis. Osmosis would occur. So osmosis is the net movement of water molecules from a region of higher water from a region of higher water potential to a region of lower water potential. So it is from higher water potential to lower water potential not from lower to higher so let's say that this is the red blood cell then you have the water since this 
higher water potential so your water would move from region of higher water potential to lower which is into the cell so the answer for question 6 would be A Next question, which process depends on active transport? Active transport is usually for ion uptake by root hairs or uptake of glucose by epithelial cells of glucose um, of villi and kidney tubules the answer wouldn't be A the answer would be C A and C they are both diffusion D would be osmosis so the answer for question 7 would be B, reabsorption of glucose by kidney tubules. This occur by active transport. Next question, which identifies the chemical elements found in proteins? Proteins chon. So they have carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, which is A. And then for carbohydrate and lipids Cho. they have carbon, hydrogen and oxygen while for nucleic acids they have an additional phosphorus next question a student carries out a test to see whether the solution in the test tube contains protein which row shows the correct food test and a positive result the test for protein carry out burette test so the answer will be A will be B Benedict test is to test for reducing sugar so a positive test for burette test would be purple 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 it would change from blue to purple. Well, for burette test, a positive test would be from blue to either yellow or red or brown. So the answer for question 9 would be D. Next question, the diagram shows an experiment investigating the effect of light intensity on an aquatic plant. Photosynthesis occurred in both test tube P and test tube Q. Both test tubes were kept at the same temperature. The number of bubbles produced in test tube P was 12 bubbles per minute. What is the most likely number of bubbles produced in one minute in test tube Q? So the only difference between P and Q is the distance between the light source and test tube. So for test tube Q, the plant would be exposed to like a higher water potential uh, higher water potential higher light intensity sorry and for P the light intensity will be lower so at P the limiting factor would be light intensity so now that Q have um, since Q has higher light intensity it will have higher rate of photosynthesis meaning like more oxygen is produced and hence more bubbles are produced so the answer would be D the bubbles is due to gas next question the diagram shows a leaf as seen in cross section under the microscope what are tissues 1, 2 and 3 
One would be your epidermis. Two would be your pedicide. Three would be your spongy. So the answer would be A, A. Next question. The pie charts show the composition of 100 grams of four different foods. Which food provides the most energy? It would have a high proportion, high, high fraction. You have a greater fraction of carbohydrate and protein, right? So the answer would be B. It definitely can't be C, can't be D. Water doesn't provide the most energy. So the answer would be B. It has the highest fraction, the highest portion of carbohydrate and protein. And also the least water. Next question. The cholera bacterium produces a toxin that results in water entering the elementary canal and causing it diarrhea. The diagram shows that human elementary canal into which region are chloride ions secreted as a result of the toxin. So for this you have to remember back to the story of cholera. So we have already stated here that cholera bacterium produces a toxin. So what this toxin does is that it will cause a secretion of chloride ions into the small intestine. And hence, it will cause like os and hence like osmosis will occur, water entering. Osmosis will occur. So, in this diagram, you are looking for small intestine. So the answer would be B. Next question. Oh yeah, in order to treat diarrhea, carry up aura rehydration therapy oh next question the diagram shows an experiment kept at room temperature what is present in the water surrounding the membrane after 45 minutes so they have already stated over here that membrane permeable to small molecules only so the answer will be A Protein is not a small molecule, it has to be broken down to amino acids. Using rotis, so the answer will be A, one be C, one be D to starch also has to be have to be broken down to simple sugars using amylase. Large. Large. Next question. The diagram shows an experiment to investigate transpiration. Plan 1 is not covered. Plan 2 and its pot are covered by a transparent plastic bag. The mass of each plant and its pot is measured. The masses are measured again after 2 hours. What is the result? The mass of both plants decreases by the same percentage? No, I don't think so. Because, like for example, maybe we have like, let's say we have like three droplets of water. Oh yeah, over here they say transpiration. Transpiration is the loss of water vapor. Okay, so back to this. Plan one, let's say there's three droplets of water. But for plan one, the water vapor can escape can yeah, can escape to the surrounding. But at plan two, the water vapor can't be escaped. So when we are measuring the mass for plan one, these three droplets the mass of these three droplets won't be counted. But for when we are measuring for plan two, these three droplets would be the mass of these three droplets will be measured. So that means that the mass of 
plant two would be higher. The mass of both plants stays the same. No, the mass of plant one decreases more than the mass of plant two. Yes. As I said, the mass of plant one would be greater than the mass of plant two. Next question. Which description of translocation is correct? Translocation is the movement of glucose, um, um, the movement of sucrose and amino acids. It's not glucose. It is sucrose from sauce to sink. So the answer would be D. Sauce is the region of production. While sink is the region of storage or the region where they are used in respiration or growth so the answer will be D 17. Which factor increases the risk of developing coronary heart disease? It would be smoking. So smoking actually causes like, the plaque to build up the coronary artery and hence causing coronary heart disease. Like your heart would need to pump harder in order for to transport the blood. Next question. Which role describes the features of passive immunity? So passive immunity is the short term it's the short term defense against a pathogen. Acquired from another individual. So an example of this would be like from mother to infant. So it will be short term because like no memory cell is produced, no antibodies is made by the body. So the answer would be A. Next question. The diagram shows part of the human gas exchange system, which will describe uh, identifies P, Q, and R. To P, to P would either be oxygen or carbon dioxide. Oxygen would diffuse into blood, while your carbon dioxide would diffuse out of blood. So the one that is to P should be carbon dioxide since it is out of blood. So carbon dioxide would diffuse out of blood into alveoli. So it is not C because Q is definitely not a layer of moisture. I think this is probably like the layer of moisture that they are describing. R would be your capillary. So the answer would be B. Because if you remember, like from the upper lung to the lower part of the lung, it branch from like bronchus to bronchial, then only to alveoli. I think from here it's like, um, how do I describe it? <laughs> so it should be from alveoli to bronchial. So P is definitely will be your bronchial. It definitely can't be your alveolus wall, right? Then Q is your alveoli, alveolus wall. 
Yes. Next question. What is the effect on germinating seeds of increasing the temperature from 10 degrees Celsius to 20 degrees Celsius? Increasing the temperature. It would increase in the respiration rate. So that's so busy. It wouldn't be a, a decrease in production of oxygen. It would use up more oxygen, but it doesn't. Mm, yeah, it doesn't decrease in the production of oxygen. So the answer would be C. It's the most suitable answer. <laughs>